Hey there, welcome to Reveal. My name is Artur, and with this video I'm gonna start a series of tutorials on Facebook Ads Automated Rules. In each video I'll showcase some of the most common rules that our customers use. Today I'll focus on pause type rules and demonstrate how you can set them up. First couple of examples that I'm going to show are really straightforward and are considered basic rules, but almost everyone uses rules like that, so if you're new to ads automation, you'll definitely find use for them. So let's jump straight to it. I'm on the automation page and I click on the new rule button, which leads me to a rule creation page. I'll start with a rule that would pause ad sets that spent over $5 today and got no link clicks. I'll call it pause no link clicks. Then I pick the ad account that this rule would apply to. I'll keep this one. After that, we need to define which items we want the rule to affect. So I click on the underscore text here and this window pops up. As I said, I want this rule to pause ad sets, so that's already selected here. Below are the two options I can use to select items the rule would apply to. So if I want to select specific ad sets, I keep the second option enabled. And in the list of all my ad campaigns below, I can select, for example, this campaign, and that would mean that the rule would apply to all ad sets in that campaign, even the ones that you create and launch later. I can also open the list of ad sets in any campaign to pick specific ones. The second option is to select items by filter. Let me show you a few tricks. I can filter ad sets by their status. This way the rule would apply to all active ad sets in all campaigns. If I want to exclude some campaign from this rule, I can add another filter saying campaign name doesn't contain, say, California. So if I have a campaign that has the word California in its name, the rule wouldn't affect ad sets in that campaign. Another filter you can use to apply a rule to all ad sets, regardless of their status, is this. Campaign name doesn't contain this set of random symbols. Most likely no one has a campaign with such name, so basically in this case the rule would apply to all ad sets in all campaigns. Alright, after I selected the items, I click done. I've used the filter so I can see how many ad sets match my filter. Then we define the very logic of the rule the action and the conditions. So I want to pause an ad set when it spends over $5 and gets no link clicks. Therefore, I need two regular conditions and both of them must be met in order to trigger the rule. That's why I use end logic operator to link the conditions. It's also very important to pick the right time frame. As you can see, I've used today in the conditions, but if you want, you can select any time frame from the list. Just make sure you pick the right one. Check out the link in the description below to learn what exactly each time preset means. Attribution window settings are also explained in the description below the video. If you want to get notified when your rule triggers, just add your email or Slack channel here. The final step is the schedule settings. This is where you define when and how often the conditions in the task are going to be checked. The time zone would be usually defined automatically, but if it doesn't match your ad account time zone, please select the right time zone manually. Ok, so there are two ways to set a schedule. Use a certain check frequency or set a specific time for a rule to run. If you choose to check the conditions every 15 minutes, for instance, the rule would run the first check right after you enable it, and then it will be repeating the checks every 15 minutes. The alternative is the custom schedule. If I set it like this, the rule would run a single check every day at 1 am sharp. You can select any other time to come up with a more sophisticated schedule. But in this case, the 15 minutes check frequency would be the best choice as we want to pause inefficient ads as soon as possible. Now, when everything is set, I can save the rule as a draft or set it live right away. But let's go to the conditions constructor to see what else can we come up with, given that all other settings stay the same. Let's say I want to pause ad sets when they don't get a single purchase after spending $10. I just need to change the value for the spend condition and replace link clicks with purchases metric. Pretty simple, right? Now let me add another condition here, saying cost per link click is greater than $3. This task would come in handy when you don't want to pay over $3 per link click unless an ad set got a purchase today. So if there is at least one purchase, the rule wouldn't trigger because the purchases condition isn't met. Now let's try something more complicated. I remove these two conditions and add a nested condition saying ROAS return on ad spend is less than 1.5. And then I add one more regular condition to the nested block that goes 
cost per purchase is greater than $10. I link the cost and ROAS conditions with OR within the nested block, whereas the whole block is linked with AND to the spend condition. It means that this task would pause an ad set when the spend goes over $10 and either cost per purchase is too high or the ROAS is too low. Note that when there are no purchases, the ROAS is going to be equal to zero, which is less than 1.5, so this setup will take care of zero purchases situations as well. Okay, one more example to go. Let's say you want to pause all your active ad sets at 11 p.m. every day. First, we go to the rule applies to section and use the filter. Ad set status is active. Click done. In the task, you can use the time condition like time greater than 10 p.m. for the whole week. Fix the time zone here if it doesn't match your ad account time zone. And then we select the custom schedule. Fix the time zone if needed. Scroll down and pick 11 p.m. slots through the whole week. This would mean that every day at 11 p.m. this rule would check the time condition in the task. And it's going to be met every time because 11 p.m. is always greater than 10 p.m. So every time the rule runs at 11 p.m. it'll pause all active ad sets. Alright, hope this was helpful. If you need assistance, please feel free to reach out and ask any questions. See you in the next videos. Cheers!